Hey everyone, Jazu going to bring you another video on uh, Studio, aka Fire Range. Uh, team Deathmatch Hardcore, and I'm using the Peacekeeper with a few attachments on it uh, Quick Draw, Long Barrel, a few other ones. But uh, the reason why I'm putting this match up is my first ever swarm. Uh, and the thing was, you know, I worked real hard to get it, but then after I did get it, uh, it was near the end of the match, so I only got a few kills with it, unfortunately, but uh, I was still very proud to get it. And I almost had a perfect match. I came one kill, uh, one death away. I got killed right after I got the swarm, thankfully. But, um, yeah, I always have been a fan of firing range from the first game. I actually had some of my best matches, including, a, I believe, a 35-0 and 0 match on there in the first Black Ops. But uh, they changed it around. I mean, it's the same layout, but... Some of the uh, things they put in the in the map are quite interesting and make it more entertaining. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't, you know, I decided to go with the Swarm as my score streak. You know, this, the night I was playing this match. And, uh, you know, I never had really went for it, you know. Maybe a couple of times in the past that I set it as a score streak and go for it. But on um, this particular night, I made it a goal of mine to go for it. And uh, I actually got it surprisingly easier than I thought I would, but it's not really easy to get. This just happened to be, I was just, you know, in in this rhythm, and I had some good teammates helping cover me. But um, I will say that uh, I should have probably had, well, I had the VSAT. I was running the, the VSAT and the um, Swarm. I forget what the first kill streak was. It might have been just a UAV. But, uh... I will say it's probably, if you're going to run it, UAV and VSAT really help achieve the extra points to get to it. But I also regret not having the dog set, you know, having VSAT dogs and then the swarm because I think I could have gotten a, uh, you know, I could have had the attack dogs in there too and it would have been, you know, really cool to have the two high score streaks to get them in the same match. But um, what I do want to talk about a little bit real quick is... uh. The new camos for PS, uh, for PSN came out for the Black Ops, and uh, same ones as Xbox, which I figured Cyborg definitely would get voted on. But Dragon and Comics was actually pretty close. So I was, I mean, I was a little worried because I actually preferred Dragon too, but I was thinking maybe because Xbox already had it, a lot of the PlayStation users were like, hey, let's go for something else, and maybe that's why Comics almost got it. But uh, I'm glad it was Dragon, so I just bought them tonight. In fact, and uh, I really enjoy the Cyborg camo especially. And uh, I'm going to try to do a gameplay with both of them. You know, get a good gameplay with both of them so you guys can see them in action if you haven't bought them yet. But, uh, yeah, um, I like how the calling cards for both of them glow up, glow. You know, they kind of are, you know, moving while they work. I must say I had a camp there because I knew the guy was up above. My teammate had just gone up there and gotten killed, so I waited for him. And once you get the VSAT, it just makes it so much easier to get a good kill streak. It doesn't always happen, though, because sometimes, even though you see the guy coming on the VSAT, um, there will be, like, three guys coming in the same direction. So, you know, you might think, oh, I know they're all coming that way, so I'm going to go after them. But it doesn't always pan out that you kill all three of them or even two of them. And then you, you end up ruining whatever good score streak you have. But fortunately in this one I kind of, you know, let my teammates kind of guide me a little bit too here with the VSAT. I didn't go rushing into like four guys. But yeah, see right there after I get it, that person picks me off. But at least I got it and then it just gets me three kills to end the match, which our team dominated. You know, we really had an easy time with this team, so that helped. There's the final kill with it coming up here. But, uh, yeah, no, I was really happy to accomplish this gameplay. On hardcore, going 19 0 for the swarm is not an easy thing. And, uh, you know, I, a lot of people don't even play hardcore, they still stick with core. Now, I actually find it harder on core to get these type of kill streaks, but, uh, you know, I just thought you guys would like to see it. And, uh, I should be posting a few more videos soon. I still got a couple good ones saved, and, like I said, I'll go for a good uh, good video with the uh, cyborg camera and the dragon camera. All right, guys, take care.